Alright guys, so I'm going to try to do this one-handed here. Um, I wanted to make sure you guys could have a good view, so I'm holding the webcam in one hand. So what you're going to want to do is shake up the dry shampoo. You want it really well shaken before you use it. And then you're just going to spray it on. You can see, you can already tell that it's covering up. And I'm having trouble seeing here while I'm holding this. Now, if it's looking a little um, powdery, powdery, in fact, there's some thinness right here that I'm going to try to cover. All right, so there you go. If it's looking a little powdery, you can get your eyeshadow here. And I'm using the darkest color there at the bottom. And this is just a generic kind of, I don't know, eyeshadow. And just get a little bit on your finger. And then you're just going to brush it on there. And so you see, when you have that boost of color in the dry shampoo, that's what really helps cover the area. And, you know, you can buy this at Walmart. You can buy it at Target. It's literally only like 8 bucks. And it'll last you a really, really long time. And it's just a little bit lighter than his natural. Yeah, he, he's actually like a dark blonde, but it looks brown on here. Because the lighting's not so good. But anyway, this gives you a good general idea. You can darken it up however much you need to. And so that's from behind. From the side. See, the more eyeshadow you put on it, the better it'll look. And, like, he's tried the little microfiber thingies that cling to your hair, and they're like 50 bucks for a little can of it. This stuff, in my opinion, works just as well. And it's way, way cheaper. Anyway, so, there you have it. Very simple, very fast. And you can even do it yourself if you have um, a mirror to use that you can hold in front of you. And that's it. I'll see you guys later.